Hi, now I'll be showing you how to use the Moodle calendar. First log in and of course go to your course. The calendar upcoming events are shown here. As you can see, there are no upcoming events. So let's go to the calendar and set some preferences. We'll, uh, I have just preset this so I'll just say what mm, everything does. You can change the time display format from 12 hour to 24 hour, the first day of the week. Maximum number of upcoming events is the number of events that can be shown on the main site in this small box self I have shown you just a few moments ago. Upcoming events look ahead is the number of days which in which events are thought of upcoming events. So if a event is 21, 21 days ahead, it'll be an upcoming event and will be shown in the box on the main site. You can s remember the settings for ev your every login and I recommend this. And now let's add a new event. You can add user events and course events. User administrators, you can also add group events, but I don't have any groups set up, so I don't, so I can't. And global mm, events are set by sysadmins and are viewable by every user who is online on Moodle. Group events are shown only to users in specific groups, course events only to users who are interested in a specific course, and user events are only viewable by you, the creator of this event. Uh, you might probably wonder if, t if, um, if students can set up their own user events, and of course they can, but they can't set up any other events. So let's first set up a user event, name it user event, any description you want, and let's say that it's on the 20th December. You can set the duration of it and if it does repeat. Let's say it does repeat for two times. So it will be repeating on the 20th, that's a few day. And it will be repeated every week on this day um, this much times how much you set here in this box. Now you can edit this. You can edit any information you want. Let's say this is, oh, I've made a mistake and this is just a one day event. You can scroll over days through here. You can delete this event. Here, delete and continue. And you can, of course, add course events, which are viewable by every user in your course. Let's say we have a test, blah, 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 on the 10th. And it is a very long one and is until the 17th. Save. And as you can see, the whole week is basically the test. The first day of this event is displayed on a box in the color of the course events. And the other days of this event are shown with thin little borders around those days. As you can see, if we go to Tuesday, the event is shown as event underway. Because it hasn't started this day and it hasn't ended this day, but it still is. And if you want to view a more detailed version of your calendar, you can click on the month and you'll be in your month view. And as you can see here, we know the test is starting here and throughout the whole week it is. You can of course show or hide specific events by clicking the user or of course hide view, hide show buttons. And now let's go to our calendar main site and export it. Exporting a calendar means basically that you export all the information about the events and you can export all events, only or events only related to this course, 
and you can choose the time period for which for which you want to export this. And you can choose two options. You can get the calendar URL. This is this. And if you have a program that uses iCal format calendar data, you can and is online capable, you can paste this URL and this program will be automatically updating all its information about your events. So if you add anything into Moodle, your program will also know about it. Since I'm using a local host, I can't really use this <laughs> in any online programs, so I have to export all the events into a file. I'll save it as I call export 5 ICS and then go to Google Calendar in which I will add this event. I go to Calendars from Settings, then Add Calendar, Add by URL. This is where I can paste this URL to, auto to force this program to automatically update about any events from Moodle. Or I can import a calendar from my hard drive and then I have to choose what type of data it is. It is a private data, so import. Two events have been processed and now if you look here, the test event, its duration is the same as in the Moodle calendar and here's my little user event on V20. Of course, if I delete anything here, it won't affect the data in the Moodle site. So that's all I wanted to say, and thank you for watching.